So why should you try yoga? Maybe you've heard a bit about it, but you want to know exactly what can a yoga practice do for me and my body? Well, I want to tell you my top five reasons of why you should give yoga a try. Now, I'm a yoga teacher here in Australia um, and I get asked quite often, why should I try yoga? Uh, so here we go. I think the last one is sort of the most unexpected, um, but still really interesting. So number one, yoga is a great way to increase flexibility. This is a bit of an obvious one, I think. People think, yeah, it's a general stretching class. But what's so good about that? Well, when you have, maybe you've been to the gym or you're physically working pretty hard and you're building these muscles, the muscles tend to shorten. So as they get bigger, they'll shorten and shorten. Um, and they can, you can get sort of that, that tight feeling through the body. And it stops the muscles working to their full capacity. That's when you start to get some aches and pains. Um, and you're also at a bit more of a risk of injury as well, because everything's a bit out of balance. So through yoga, we can stretch out the muscle nice and gently, lengthening it. Um, and the muscles respond to that so fast. You can see an increase in your flexibility within like the first three weeks of your practice. Um, so that's what is a really good thing for you to do to even out imbalances in the body. Maybe you've got really tight quads, but your hamstrings are really loose. We see sort of these postural imbalances. Um, so lengthening the corresponding muscles overall in the entire body is just a really good way to reduce risk of injury and get your body working at its optimal level. Be fit and healthy. Um, and that's always a good thing because we want, we want that in life. Number two, we do see that uh, increase in strength and stamina. So we do work on the core muscles, sort of building those muscles that are going to hold you up nice and strong and steady, increase the stamina. It really is an overall full body workout. Um, and even though some of the postures look quite gentle, maybe you're just sitting on the floor, if you actually sit there and you hold it for a good few minutes, few rounds of breath, you really feel um, those muscles start to work in a bit of a different way. Um, and that's where we build that stamina in the body, getting it to its optimal level, as I was saying before. And that can increase the quality of life too, because um, again, we're building the strength around the bones, um, less likely to be injured. We get the bone density as well from having those nice strong muscles all really good things for the body. Number three, why you should try yoga. It's accessible for everyone. Now there is no uh, sort of, you have to be this certain yogi type, thin and tall, whatever. No, it's for everyone. Um, so you can take your best friend, you can take your um, wife, you can take your husband, Anyone can go, you can take your mum, you can take your grandma. I teach ladies who are in their 70s. It is accessible for everyone and you can share that practice together. Um, pop any judgment or ego aside, don't stress. People aren't there to look at you, they're there for themselves. Um, it's not like a dance class where if you do the wrong move, they're going to make you get up in front of the class and do it in front of everyone. No, that would be a nightmare. Um, it's your own practice and it is accessible for everyone. Even if you've tried it before, there's all different styles. So give it another crack, try a different teacher, a different yoga studio, see how you go. Number four, reduce stress. Stress is a huge thing in our lives today. We have these such fast-paced, busy, scheduled lives. Schedule some time for yourself, maybe once or twice a week. You've got this time. Put, put aside for your yoga practice and you're going to enjoy just chilling out and making the most of that time. You get that awesome shavasana at the end of the practice. Maybe you get to do a bit of breath work, pranayama, calming the body down and just release, let go, let go of something. Um, 
that is just a wonderful way that you can help to reduce the anxiety if you've been having troubles with maybe depression or you can't sleep at night. Stress is huge and the stress really takes a toll physically as well as mentally. So anything that you can do to help reduce that stress is a good thing. And number five, a little bit unexpected when I was making this list. Join the community. Um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, meet up with some like-minded people who are there. They want the best for themselves. Have a chat to someone on your way into class or maybe on the way out. Maybe make some new friends, grab a coffee. When I think of my closest friends, they're dotted all over the world, but a lot of them I met through pursuing yoga. Um, you just get a chance to really meet some nice, like-minded people, check in with how they're going, and that, that is a really good, really good thing about it. You can really make some nice, lifelong friends. So I hope you enjoyed my five reasons of why you should try yoga. I hope that inspires you to get out and give it a go. I know you've got to step out of your comfort zone, um, but I'm sure it'll be worth it for you. And I'm talking from my own experience here. It is a wonderful thing to do for yourself and your body. Sometimes it is hard to find the motivation to show up on, at class, but once you get there, you always find a sense of reward and achievement, um, a bit extra space, feeling good through the body, and it can just increase the quality of life. And, and I think that is just the best thing. So if you'd like to see some more of my yoga videos, you've got any questions, um, subscribe to my channel and yeah, pop any comments, thoughts, just reaching out, you want to know more, pop in the comments below and I'll get back to you. We'll have a chat and I'll see you guys soon.